Hey everyone, so one of the questions I get a lot is where should I start? I have a lot of classes available and people are wondering where they should start and also once they've taken a couple things what they should do next. So I've been really thinking about that and working on kind of a, a way to give you a roadmap and this is what I've come up with. This is uh, what I call the professional musician roadmap, meaning um, if you follow this plan uh, you will eventually get to be what I would call a professional musician. So let me walk you through it. What I've done here is organize all my classes, and this includes future classes as well. We'll still work with this same outline. I've organized all of them into four different circles here. Okay. Now in each circle, there are all the classes that are available. And there's a little arrow here in different spots. The arrow tells us a good place to start. So let's zoom in and look at one of them. Okay, so music production. So these are all the music production classes I have, and I'll make this available to you as a PDF also, because uh, I know I had to write some of these pretty small. They might be hard to see. But I would recommend starting here at Electronic Music Primer and then working your way around the wheel. That's probably the best way to go. Now, if you want to go a different route, that's just fine. You can do whatever you want to do. But if you just don't know what to do, then continue your way through the wheel. Um, or if you've taken a couple classes here uh, and this is what interests you the most, then look inside this wheel and see what other classes are also in the wheel that you might want to take. So let's look at another one. Okay, this one's a little more complicated, the music theory one. There are a lot of music theory classes. Um, I suggest two different places that you could start if you wanted to. One would be Music Theory Comprehensive Part 1, uh, and then work your way this way around the wheel all the way to here. Or you could start at uh, Music Theory for Electronic Musicians Part 1. You could start there, go to 2, to 3, and then over to Music Theory Comprehensive Part 1 and around till you get back to where you started. So you could start at either of those two spots would be my recommendation. But again, start wherever you want. But my recommendation would be to start at one of those two spots and work your way all the way around the wheel in that order. Also, you'll see these lines here. These lines indicate when I have a bundle class available. So for example, Music Theory Comprehensive 1, 2, and 3 are connected by a line, meaning there's a version of that class called Music Theory Comprehensive Part 1, 2, and 3 and that is available. Let's look at another one. Here we have the category of composition and other stuff. So this kind of includes a lot of things. There's a couple different places you could start here. Uh, home recording or composition techniques one or the complete history of music or music business fundamentals. No matter where you start, take that spot and keep going around the circle. There aren't enough of these classes yet to finish the circle, but once you get to here, jump over to here and continue down around the circle to finish that up. All right, let's go to the last one, which is Ableton Live. Now this one also has two entry points. One is this uh, What's New in Live 10, and then Ultimate Ableton Live Part 1, and it works through the circle up to Part 6. Now you may notice here that I have a bunch more Ableton live classes available, but most of those are the Ultimate Ableton Live 9, meaning the version of Ableton Live called Live 9. That one's out of date, and you know I'm still answering questions on that and supporting it, but if you're starting from scratch, uh, you're much better off doing Live 10. So that's why I've included those here and not included the Live 9, um, because those are out of date. Okay, so that is the circle. Now I have an extra little bonus thing for you. I've decided to create my own certification program. So whenever you complete a course on Udemy, you get a certificate. But from now on, whenever you complete one of the circles, you will get a special certificate from me. And it looks like this. So Punkademic is the name of my, my brand of courses. 
and this is the complete musician. It'll have your name on it, and it'll show which of the circles here you've completed. I'm calling these badges, and so you can earn the music production badge by finishing all the courses in the music production circle. So you can get that. Once you get that, get the Ableton Live badge, the music theory badge, and the composition badge. And you can get all four of them if you want. You can just get one. You can do whatever you want. But if you get all four, you will get an absolutely free one-hour private lesson with me over uh, video chat or in person if you happen to be in the area. So uh, watch out for that. Uh, in order to get this certificate, all you have to do is send me a message on Udemy. You have to send me a message on Udemy and tell me that you've completed everything in the Ableton Live uh, circle, for example. And then I will be able to check it within Udemy uh, to make sure you have, and then I will send you the certificate. Okay. Also, on, on the Punkademic website, there will be uh, a leaderboard listing where people are, who has completed all four of the complete musician. So keep an eye out for that as well. Okay, so there you go. Uh, that's how to work your way through my classes and earn the Punkademic badge certificate.